Doctora Tancina, um, yo quisiera que le explicaras a todos los eh, seguidores qué recomiendas en caso que no logren match. Sabemos que match, eh, o sea, alcanzar un puesto de residencia es un poco difícil. Habías hablado sobre todo lo que recomendabas para lograr un puesto de residencia, pero en ocasiones es difícil. ¿Qué recomiendas eh, que haga alguno de los doctores que logre sus exámenes, pero no logre match en el primer año o en el segundo año? Lo cual es una situación difícil, pero bueno, ¿qué nos recomiendas? Okay. Um, I hope everybody match in their first uh, attempt, but um, I know it, it's a very competitive process and it's uh, really, it's okay or it, it can happen that you don't match in your first attempt. I personally didn't match. I have to reapply and then I match. So first thing you want to learn, uh, like what, what went wrong, if you can find out. Uh, there's certain thing you cannot change anymore, like your year of graduation, you won't be able to change it anymore. Your score, what has been done, has been done. You cannot change that anymore. Uh, but it shouldn't really hold you from applying again. You shouldn't feel that, okay, I'm not good enough to apply again. So that's the first thing you have to have the mindset. This is doable. It's possible. You can, there's a ways um, you can do it. And also there, you will see friends uh, uh, in the social media or your close friends, they might have tried several times and match. So those should inspire you instead of, you know, make you feel sad about it. Um, so, so those are things like your year of graduation your score, you cannot change it. Um, so what would be your strategy if you have done, you'll see like what kind of experience I have so far in my CV. If I only done like outpatient rotation, let's try my best to have some inpatient rotation. Those are hard to get, but again, I would say it's not difficult. I mean, not uh, impossible. Uh, I will give you my experience that I am in, uh, I was living in Seattle at the time and Seattle is not IMG friendly at all. And uh, people will always tell me, oh, you have to move New York or you have to move somewhere else if you want to match. I didn't move anywhere. Um, so I, I reach out to everybody I know. I started volunteering in the hospital. In that way, I get in connected with uh, some other doctors and internal medicine. So I reach out to them and was able to get some inpatient experience. So wherever you are at, you have to always look for the opportunities. If you see if in your area there's a local hospital, you can go to their website, especially if it's a university hospital, they usually have all their uh, email address, all the information in there to find or see if you just reach out to them politely that I'm a medical graduate from this country, I'm interested in to do some rotation with you. They might answer you, they might not, but it's still open a door for you. Um, and then you look, so if you haven't done inpatient rotation, that's something you should add on in your uh, CV. Then if you, um, if you think like, oh, I haven't had any research experience, then try to get a research position. Um, like I already mentioned, it can be paid job, it can be unpaid job. You can uh, get a uh, like unpaid research position in a very good uh, like hospital as well, like Mayo Clinic. I, I know several Bangladeshi doctors who reach out to like hundreds of doctors and then uh, were able to get a position in the Mayo Clinic. They worked for a like non-paid job for a while and then were able to get paid. It's a, always a financial burden that I can understand, but if this, if it's something uh, possible for you to do, I, I would uh, suggest that go for it, go for it to get some research experience. And then you can also try to have some publications. So your goal should be to check box all the all the uh, boxes in your ERAS uh, CV. So it has an option for your poster presentation, oral presentation. So whatever you can add to there would be uh, beneficial. Um, for publication, you can get a, do a case report. That's the most easiest publication you can do. So if you're rotating with some doctor, if you see any interesting cases, show your interest that can I write it with you. Uh, if you're working in an academic hospital, you are rotating with a resident, try to reach out to them and see if you can work with them some research for it. They'll be, they'll be appreciate your help as well because they are busy. Uh, and then another one you can do um, that review articles. That's something if you have some friend or colleague who is, has some experience in writing, you can make a group by yourself and uh, collect data from PubMed. So you don't need any like patient data. You, you select a topic and find whatever the literature work has been done so far on this topic. And then you can write a, uh, PubMed, uh, write a review article and can get published as well. So those are the things you can do. And also getting any job in the medical field, like you have also mentioned, like a medical assistant um, job, or I worked as a nursing assistant, those things help. Those little things shows that how dedicated you are, how much interested you are in the medical field. 
that you didn't give up. You tried something, one after another. Um, then what do you recommend uh, during the interview? Interview is also important yes. uh, moment or times during this process. What exactly. do you recommend to do during the interview process? So interview, um, so first of all, your application should be complete. So you want to submit the application on the right time. You want to have all your letter of recommendation on the right time. You don't want to delay your application submission um, and your personal statement. That's, that's very important. I cannot stress enough how important it is. Um, I struggled a lot. I, I cannot make up story. I'm not a good storyteller, so I really struggle with that. But try to write it earlier. So if you're, I would say at least from June, you should, or even May, earlier whatever earlier whatever time it takes you should start writing the draft every day you have to make some changes and show it to multiple people especially people who knows you who knows you as a person so he, they can bring out some of your qualities so that should be very important and then when you get an interview interview preparation this is something you whether you get an interview or not you have to set in the mind that i have to prepare if i get an interview today for next week i should be ready so you will start your preparation I started a little bit later, so I started after submitting my application, uh, but some people started even before. But at least as soon as you have submitted your application, you have to have a positive mind that I might get an interview at any point during this time. So I have to be prepared. So those are the things that you have to uh, really work on. So your application should be complete. You should try to get a good letter of recommendation. You should have a good personal statement and you should be ready for any uh, interview that you get um, all this. So. Thank you so much, Dr. Frost, for all your help. So I really appreciate your time. I know you're working very hard today and you gave, a, uh, you was able to help us. Thank you so much for all your advice and recommendation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good.